Now 2 News investigates digging deeper into the Houston Fire Department's aging and failing fleet. Tonight, we've learned another station, one that covers the downtown area, went most of the day today without a key piece of firefighting equipment. Investigator Joel Eisenbaum has been on top of this since May. He's live now in the newsroom with a response from the fire department about this. Joel? Yeah, that's right, guys. And let's be clear about this. With increasing frequency now, Houston fire stations do not have fire trucks inside of them. It is not every day. It is not every station. But this is an issue that directly relates to your family's safety if you live in Houston. We're talking about reduced fire protection. Today, it was HFD Station 7. That's in Midtown. No ladder truck there since early this morning because of a mechanical failure. Mechanical failures with HFD's aging fleet are now commonplace. This time, no reserve ladder filled the void. Instead, today, an SUV was essentially doing the job. It's capable of shuttling firefighters to fires. Uh, when you call for help, when you dial 911, and it's your family member that needs help, and you show up in an apparatus that cannot do the job it's intended to do, everybody should be concerned with that. And we just got a statement from HFD. This is part of it. Quote, HFD Ladder 7 went into the shop at 8 a.m. this morning for what was believed to be a minor problem with a quick repair time and a manpower unit. That's what those SUVs are called, was put in its place. In this case, the small repair resulted in the discovery for the need of additional maintenance. Station 7's other truck and engine was still in service today, and the ladder should be back in service in about two hours, I'm told. HFD says they can pull ladder trucks from other stations to respond to downtown emergencies, but that does hurt response time. We're live in the newsroom. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News. So